Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball? Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way, but thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too, rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by Richie Chieda. He's an Chieda's father. Reiji Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. The location indicated in the hidden message in BATS 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't a Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? 
Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. The building also has a small recording studio. All right, I'll see you there later. Okay, thank you! Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Nisatan, and the third is Lemnus Gate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 